One of the things I love about Texas is that Texans refuse to compromise on the things that they think are important. Texans think that it's important to have a vibrant economy, and they also feel passionately about having a clean environment and beautiful natural resources. At the Toxicology Division and at the TCEQ, we consider it an honor and a privilege to help Texans have their vibrant economy and to, to maintain these beautiful natural resources that we have. Texas is the leading electricity producer in the United States. Half of the electricity in Texas is used by the industrial sector, including refineries and petrochemical industry. Much of this industry is located along the Houston Ship Channel, which is located nearby residents. This convergence is a challenging job for us and an important job for us. The TCQ believes that public health is best protected when actions are founded in sound science. So we in the toxicology division develop a new sound science based on toxicological principles. We at the toxicology division protect public health and the environment using the principles of protectiveness, responsiveness, and vigilance. TCQ toxicity values protect the public against the most sensitive adverse health effects of a chemical by identifying the lowest exposure concentrations that causes such effects and then applying conservative procedures that ultimately result in a comparison value well below that which causes the most sensitive health effects. PER and polyfluoroalkyl substances, or PFOS, provide a good example of when the TCQ has gone beyond even federal requirements in protecting public health. Since 2011, the TCQ has had toxicity factors for 16 PFOS, not just PFOS and PFOA. The principle of responsiveness is that we will rapidly respond to citizens when they need us, and that can just be an individual citizen or it can be a large emergency event. And those emergencies can come from natural disasters like forest fires or floods or disasters that come from industrial accidents that may involve fires and explosion. Our responsiveness was demonstrated in 2016 when when our coastal city's water source was accidentally contaminated with a chemical that had little toxicological data. We rallied internally as a team of toxicologists to help come up with health-based action levels. Those action levels were in turn used by city officials to protect more than 300,000 citizens. The principle of vigilance means that we keep a close eye on environmental monitoring data to make sure that chemical concentrations are below concentrations of concern. TCQ has one of the largest ambient air monitoring networks in the nation, and we're continually monitoring things such as air toxics. Monitors like the one behind me um, monitor for air toxics 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all throughout the year. There are 92 locations throughout the state that have monitors like this, and there are even more that monitor for other compounds that are federally regulated. TCQ uses a program called the Air Pollutant Watch List in order to keep an eye on areas of concern with ambient air data that show us that levels are higher than we would like them to be. We at the Toxicology Division stay uh, up to date with the best available science of toxicology and applied risk assessment. An example of the innovative work that is done at the Toxicology Division is the work that we did for Chromium-6. This was published in 2015 and involved looking at new science for oral absorption that helped us set safety factors in water that has been used by our agency and um, in fact internationally. And the innovation of that work was recognized by a best paper award by the Society of Toxicology. Protecting Texans is something that we at the TCQ take very seriously. We truly have the ability to have a positive impact on the lives of the citizens in this state. I love everything about my job. It's a great job. It's an important job. Our group works really hard to ensure the, the health and safety of the citizens of Texas.